Well, we hauled the log over. We're going to roll it up here. Sadly, there was nobody left to run the camera with Chris and me handling this. I've got some logging tongs I'm reviewing that I bought off Amazon. And so you can watch for that one day. That'll be a separate video. And actually, I bought that before we lost internet and uh, never got around to showing it because we didn't have internet. Anyway, so we got one log. We're going to set up some ramps and roll that log on. We're going to run one log, a uh, piece of jack pine, as our first piece ever just to get the feel of things uh, before we get into the big stuff. Yep, yep so. Yep. I'll tell you this much. Those are big slipes so much easier. The tongs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know it. So, we got this on. Everything should be good. We set that up there. I don't know if it's going to stay. But for now, we just wanted to get a log on here and, and get the feel of things and see if the whole thing's going to stay up first. So we're going to just run one log and find out what happens. We have to move it anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> Now we're going to get that up there and it's going to be awkward because this is our first time together so I'm not going to record us putting that up there. It's going to look bad. <laughs> yeah. run with the blade it looks scary what's wobbling so bad well let's see what happens Chris. oh boy we're both nervous I gotta be honest first run yeah and I gotta be right here Chris. yeah enough
I gotta be honest, we're being very, very, very careful right now. First time ever, I need to build a cage on that and all kinds of stuff. But we're just getting a feel for it. So Chris, how do you feel about it? Yeah, it's a little scary, but not. Yeah, I can deal with it. Um, I'm surprised how comfortable I am because it might look different on camera in all the videos I've watched, but there's a large space between this handle here and the blade, and I can stand with my arm extended. I'm far from that blade. Yeah. So, um, I mean, you see, Chris, I'm, I'm, what am I, six feet away from that blade? Yeah. My, my body is. So I'm surprised how comfortable I am. Yeah. The one thing that people told me is that you're going to get covered in sawdust, which is, I mean, sure. I brushed it off as good as I could. But with the chainsaw mill, I was covered in sawdust beyond belief, yeah. right? I mean, exactly. it is what it is. Uh, everything held up. It stayed on its uh, supports. Even the rollers stayed up, and they're not screwed on. Oh, what did Melanie say about how loud it was? It wasn't bad, she said. Yeah. No, not at all. She was surprised. Nope, not at all. Now, one thing I learned on here, um, it says on the top, where is it? Right here. Oh. Includes 3 8 inch allowance for saw, kerf, and planer shave. But our teeth are a quarter inch. So that's off and then I found out that this gauge here an inch is an inch the one in the middle what I say Chris is an inch and three-eighths yeah this one here on the far right is actually an inch and a quarter so I've got to use the scale on the far right on this thing for the inch and a quarter to give me the allowance for the saw blade 
Wait a minute, why is it? I gotta remeasure them, because um, here, this one is longer. Oh, that was an inch and a half, wasn't it? And this is an inch and a quarter. Yeah. So there's there's an actual inch. This was an inch and a half for whatever reason, and that's an inch and a quarter, which is exactly the scale we need to use. Yeah. So it's gonna take some adjusting and, and practicing to get used to this. Plus tomorrow I'll bring over my dial caliper so we can 100% check it. Yeah, figure that out. Now, we got some, some wood. This I'm just going to keep from my wood shop. It was one of the first pieces I cut off. It's really thin. And then we got varying thicknesses um, from three quarters to a half inch. Um, because of the saw blade was a quarter and I was going on the real one inch scale so I was only getting three quarters maximum and so you know it is what it is now I know but these I can use in my wood shop anyway it's it's wood it's lumber and then I'm gonna shave off the <clears throat> this has two no it does have an edge see I can get a board out of that now these ones here that's a three-quarter. I'm going to shave off the edge on my table saw rather than messing around here until I'm really comfortable and familiar with this big machine, the, the big sawmill. But I can do that real easy. I can cut that on the table saw to the whatever maximum amount I can get out of that and salvage as much as I can out of those boards. But, I mean, we did it. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to drag over another log and get on the mill and process that yet tonight before we call it a night and have to wrap things up. Yeah. Just so you guys know for safety, some of the boards actually hang over. So I used the handle to drag it away from the blade. To kick it off, okay. Yeah, before I tried moving it. I wasn't I wasn't even paying attention to you. I'm so concentrating on this. Yeah. And I couldn't even hear the engine of the tractor, so I can't wait to hear this video to see um, if it was bogging or anything. Yeah. So, uh, you it know. It sound it to me, but I got three hoods on. And I had the hearing protection on. I could hear the saw blade cutting, but I couldn't hear the tractor engine bogging or anything. And it caught, so I didn't notice any difference. I mean, it's not as loud as a chainsaw, so. That's true, yeah.